construction work and barn renovations in the Scottish Highlands. My name is Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel and to a new two-part vlog series from Scotland where I share an update to my family's home renovations and the progress they've been making. Good morning. Wow, what another beautiful day it is. And there is no bread in front of my car. So something ate it. I don't know if it'll be a pine mart and that's what I wanted to see. I'm gonna have a look. Let's go and check out. Huh? Huh? The dogs. The dogs ate the bread. Of course they did. Oh well. Totally did that for the camera. There's actually two of us here. One of them is holding the camera. <laughs> and Dick and I have left. Left the old man, so we're going for a walk. We're going to try and make it all the way down to Loch Sunnert, the sea loch. Maybe. Might make it down there. It's quite a far walk, about 20 or 30 minutes each way. I'm not the only Sean spelled exactly the way I spell it in the village of Straunton because I found another one up there. And yes, I have heard that joke multiple times. So made it down here to the main village square of Strontian. There's not really much to it, it's like a kind of public grass area with some picnic benches which we're currently sat on. Um, and then over there in the corner, I think there somewhere, there's like an arts and crafts shop there somewhere. Maybe there, arts and crafts shop. And then they have an actual convenience store there which is open quite a lot and has basically everything you would need. Maybe the arts and crafts shops up here. And here, there's a cafe where you can get rolls and breakfast and stuff. Walked all the way down now to the to the sea, to the sea loch. Here in front of me, that is Loch Sunert, which is technically the ocean, it's salt water. It doesn't look like it. I guess you could compare it to like a fjord in Norway. And the tide comes in and out here. Very beautiful, Loch Sunert. One of the most remote sea lochs in Scotland. And this is kind of like the, the far extremes of Stronti in the village. And here behind me is an old hotel and pub. I think it's the kind of main pub for the village now. But I used to actually work here. One summer, about 18 years ago, when I was just a wee nipper, I worked in there cleaning tables in the restaurant. That was a good summer. I remember I used to be up there waiting tables and then that beautiful view of the loch in front.
you know what's kind of funny the temperature we've got today i don't know what it is it must be i don't know 18 but it feels warm it could be in shorts and t-shirt easily comfortably because there's not a breath of wind not even a not even the tiniest breath of wind it's so calm and comfortable the temperature is comfortable it's not at all even slightly cold and it's not too hot and to be honest if it was this temperature if we had this temperature this feeling this sensation all summer scotland would be a marvel but there's lots of times in summer when it might be the temperature technically might be warmer than it is now today but with wind coming off the sea and rain and it feels miserable and that is more like the mainstay of the weather we get this weather right now is ideal and like i said we're in march this is march this is a pretty early to get good weather like this uh, and it's been a solid week so far um, and actually we've had two or three weekends on the bounce when it's been like this so we've been very lucky and george has been working on this big massive tree stump which is a lot of roots down below since we got here yesterday and he's now at the stage where he's going to be able to try and yank it out so he's got i think he's got a like a, a winch type of thing attached to that tree there he's just gonna winch the thing out somehow because that's directly in the path of where the deer fence is going to go which will stop the deers coming from over there and hopping over i'm not convinced it's going to work huh? i'm not convinced it's going to work Me that's tightening huh? it's tightening gonna snap the, that stick you've got there's definitely gonna be people in the comments asking me why i'm not jumping in that hole and helping pull as well but i'm allergic to manual labor come on george put your back into it i think we might be going about this the wrong way and i think if we were in the states the answer to this problem would be a digger no would be dynamite. <laughs> put dynamite down below the tree in the hole where George has put that stick, right? You light it and then you run and then boom. And then the tree just comes flying out. Don't think we've got any dynamite here though. I'm not sure George is going to get this out by the time I have to leave. But I can illustrate the problem though. Because if we could take, go down the bottom of the garden where there's another tree stump where it needs to come out as well. There's a giant tree stump. Up there. That tree that has been cut a long time ago by people who used to live here. But now it needs to come out. And I'm not sure how it looks on camera. But I was staggered, absolutely staggered by the sheer size of the roots. Like they go in every direction, all the way down. And then this one here is, is a really shocking one, right? It's been uncovered by my dad and George. It goes all the way there. And that is thick, like it doesn't look on camera, but that there. You know, probably 12 inches thick and it goes all the way up the garden underneath the bamboo there look all the way up from that tree and i think this tree like this just shows you how clever plant life can be because that root has been sent all the way up here to a moist part of the garden where the water tends to collect underneath these bamboos so it's obviously been sent on a journey to gather the water up here take it back to the tree but you know, that's that's another problem that's going to be need to deal with Look at what ticks on me. I don't want to tick on me. There are a lot of ticks here. The cats and the dogs get them. Just resorted to hitting it. I'm resorting to just hitting it. There must be another root under there. You small little roots anchoring it. Oh, almost there you go it's gone well we just need to yank it out of the hole <laughs> so when are you getting started on the barn the barn <laughs> yours down the line you got it out before i went home just i haven't got it out of the hole yet though as we come to the end of this trip we're almost thinking about time to go home. Uh, I know a lot of 
you guys have been wanting to see an update to the house inside. So I'm going to try and show you. But if I take you down to the bedroom where we stayed before, it's actually went backwards. Because at the time it was just habitable and now it's not because they basically dug it all out, look. But the reason is because all of the floorboards were rotten and needed to be taken away. A lot of stuff needs to be done in here. You can see just how deep the foundations go down here. All of this needs sorted, obviously. That's going to take a lot of work. Right back to the original brickwork there. But one of the changes has been the upstairs part, which was uninhabitable last time we were here. And there is now one of the two bedrooms is fit to... Staying, so George has been staying up here. Um, it's all been cleaned out a little bit. But along the other end of this corridor here at the top is now a bedroom where George stays. Still needs some work, but it's fine for now. It works. And this area here, down towards the old conservatory is as it was is still a lovely place to sit listen to the birds and look at the view see the stars and all the rest of it we'll have to be friends here look <laughs> hey well, I'll show you one of the areas a kind of living room area that's been done over here still needs a lot of work but it's, it's now usable as a living room space it's all kind of dusty and stuff because all the works that are going on. You can still see like exposed, exposed areas up there. But this room is now where we stayed. We stayed in this bedroom last night, which is pretty much finished to be honest. Door open right to the garden, which is great. New floor, new bed, all painted. Done. All this needs done. At some point, then it will be, along with all the garden stuff. And then when I get that done, you know, whenever that is, a year or two years from now, maybe, they can think about the barn. And that is the kind of place that they will uh, rent out eventually to holidaymakers if they ever get that far, because they may just get tired of it and think it's too much. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot to do. Eating grass. Okay. Eating grass. <laughs> Are you getting grass? Ooh, yes, Mr. Flocky. Ragnar. Ragnar. Ragnar, come here. Hey, Ragnar. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, no bushing, no things. So from leaving my folks house at Strontine, we drove um, back to the mainland, mainland, and um, back into, towards home to Edinburgh. We stopped at Glencoe, um, Ballyhoolish, because I'd heard about this lock up here called Glencoe Lockin, which is a freshwater lock quite high up. And we've come here and look at that. It's absolutely like a mirror. The colours are just absolutely spectacular as well. Wow, nice to be into the day. It's nice, way. It's beautiful. It's like the meter. It's like a meter. Mm -hmm. The law.
Final stop of the weekend is right here on Rannach Moor. I think the name of this loch is Loch Ba. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what it's called. And as you can see, it's just, it's just indescribable. Look at it. You cannot paint that in a better way. Unbelievable. I come here, parked the car up on the road, jumped out the car. And apart from the road traffic, which goes past occasionally, I can hear the sound of geese in the background, but apart from that, I can't hear anything. Perfectly still and beautiful. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. It's been a while since I've been up here to the Highlands, to Strontian specifically. I thought I'd come up and give you guys a bit of an update. But I will be back again soon at some point, hopefully. And I'll be taking you guys along for the ride, for more adventures. So thank you very much for coming and joining in. I appreciate you. And until the next adventure, hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.